Hello, I'm Nick Bowles and I'm going to lead you through the Upper Thames branch activities in 2020. One activity that definitely saw an increase in participation was recording. Uh, people started off recording in their gardens but in the summer people ventured out more widely and we got far more records of butterflies and of moths and even of other life stages. This map shows the data that was collected, butterflies and moths, across all three counties of Berkshire at the bottom, Oxfordshire on the left, Bucks on the right, during 2020. We noticed in 2020 that there was a really big increase in the number of people recording their data through one of the iRecord schemes. And one of the good things about iRecord is that it shows us the data that we've collected in the form of maps. You can always get back your data from iRecord by going to the Explore page. Anyway, the iRecord system shows us darker colours where most records were collected, paler colours where fewer, open circles where very little data was collected, and blank areas where none was collected. This looks a bit frightening for parts of West Oxfordshire, but be, uh, be assured that we collect a lot of data through other systems as well, so some of that paucity of recording is actually not quite as bad as it appears, but there are areas there where we're hoping to go out and collect more data in 21, and into the future to try and fill in all those gaps. In addition to general surveying, we also have targeted surveying for certain rarer species, like the striped lichenis moth, which can be hard to find as an adult. Luckily, the caterpillars are fairly striking. You can see one on the right. It lives on a plant which stands out well in its surroundings. You can see one on the left, called dark mullein. And there's a group there looking at it in 2018, when we used to be able to go out in groups to do surveys. Despite the restrictions, in 2020 we had 17, over 17,000 flower spikes searched by volunteers and they found over 1,000 caterpillars, making this the densest population in the UK. Right the way from the northwest of the Chilterns, down through Oxfordshire and into the Berkshire Downs, along that ridge of chalk, we seem to have got very large numbers of striped lichenous moths but we need more people to go out and search the Berkshire Downs where we think the population may equal that of the Chilterns which has been better surveyed because this is where they've been historically known but just a few surveys in Berkshire suggest that much more detailed work is needed so if you'd like to volunteer for that we'd love to hear from you. We also have volunteers growing plants to help the striped lichness. We can provide the seed if you think you could grow some dark mullein plants. And if you'd like to volunteer to help us with surveys, particular surveys, we've got some this year for the Duke of Burgundy in West Berkshire and for the Silver Studded Blue in East Berkshire. We've got surveys for various priority moth species and many of those searches for some reason are going on in Oxfordshire which appears to have more of our priority moth species than the other two counties. Additionally, you might like to help species champions who collect data on particular species. So if you have a particular species which you favour, you might like to go out collecting data on that and feeding it back to the species champions. Or to help a 10k square champion who collect the data from all the different parts of any 10k square. Not just the honeypot, but also the slightly more ordinary places. And that data is really important to complete the picture of the way that butterflies are doing. Of course, some of you will already be involved in walking transects or collecting data of a similar type for the wider countryside butterfly survey. That also needs regular input of new volunteers. If you have any interest in any of these schemes, please do get in touch. One of the really gratifying things in 2020 was the number of landowners getting in touch with us and asking for advice about the way they could increase biodiversity on their land. One or two of these landowners have very, very large tracts of land and can make a real difference to the butterflies and moths that live there. If you know a landowner, or even if you own land yourself, and you'd like some advice on how to increase the number of butterflies and moths, please get in touch. 2020 was a year that made conservation work very difficult. You do really need groups out to do conservation work of any major scale and we just couldn't have groups of people out, or at least not above the number of six. So we had to restrict ourselves to inviting people to just a few events and make sure that they were all practiced as safely as possible. That meant that our practical conservation work in 2020 was well below the amount we normally achieve, and we're looking to redress that in 2021. 
As ever, we're always looking for volunteers to help us with this work and it really is very important. In addition to volunteers, we pay the Chiltern Rangers to go out and do work for us. To be honest, we only pay them a fraction of the cost of the work, but we help to persuade them to go to various places with a little bit of financial inducement. The Chiltern Rangers have been able to work while the other, other volunteers couldn't, because as it is their main line of employment and they're working outdoors, they've been able to continue. As part of daily exercise, people were allowed to go out working alone, and Peter Cuss is shown in the picture planting some of the 250 disease-resistant elms that he's managed to put in for the Upper Thames branch. The picture shows Peter planting in a wood where there is a small colony of white letter hair streak but where the elms are suffering from Dutch elm disease. So by planting disease-resistant trees we hope to stabilise and possibly enlarge the colony. So that was 2020, but we're hoping to do more in 2021. For instance, at the moment it looks as if we will be able to hold our organised walks. All free, just look at our website for details. We're hoping to get out more volunteers on more conservation tasks. So important, that really is a crucial thing to do. Of course there's going to be more recording, building on last year's success, and there'll be more assistance to recorders, so I'll ask if you need any help. We're hoping to get more targeted surveying doing. We might actually go out and look for the brown hair streak, the butterfly you can see at the back of this picture, uh, this slide, which has now turned up in East Berkshire. Hooray! So another species to add to Berkshire's list. We'll be giving more advice to landowners and we'll be having more Zoom meetings. There's a whole load of online meetings being presented at the moment. So again, visit our website, upperthamesbutterflies.org.uk and see what takes your fancy. Come and join us. We can always use an extra volunteer or two. Thanks for listening. Bye.